Okay, so here's just a quick, dirty video for how to do use the uh, Stable Diffusion version 2 and 2.1 depth model. Uh, you'll First thing, make sure that you've got the depth model selected. As you see up here, we have the uh, uh, the E12 V1 depth EMA checkpoint. Uh, it's currently selected. Uh, go to in, uh, Image to Image. Paste yourself an image in there. Anything will do. Um, then, just give it whatever prompt you want. I just, I've just i filled it with some... Uh, with some negative prompts here, just some generic negatives, and then uh, the actual prompt is a powerful, fa a powerful warrior fantasy D and D with Boca, um, and then of course there's my ugly mug as a, a test subject. Uh, just using Euler A with 20 steps doesn't matter what you use. Um, the other samplers will basically give you the same thing. Uh, this is a square image, so I'm going to 512 by 512. Uh, we're just going to leave uh, the CFG scale at 7. I'm going to start with a low denoising strength. Uh, so we're going to start with a 0.2. We generate from that. Uh, we'll see that it will pretty much keep the same composition since the uh, noise level was low on that. You'll notice that it has pretty much the same overall shape. Uh, not a lot of changes to uh, too much that's in here. The more noise you give it, Obviously, the more change it's going to get, let's give it run it with a 0.6 noise. And you'll notice, again, same overall shape. Uh, you even have the uh, things that were, there's a plant that's off the side here. Let's turn those into stakes. You see that he's changed it into uh, a man with armor. Uh, the parking lot has turned into what looks like a swamp, that sort of thing. So that's with a slightly higher noise. You can go all the way up to one. Uh, Unlike image to image, a one noise will not wipe your image out. It's just going to tell it that it can use, it can make anything it wants to on the depth map, but it's still going to make a depth map out of this. So it's still going to have the same general composition. So if we run it with the one noise, you'll notice that again, same composition, all the major elements are still in place. That's the, the point of the depth mask is that it recognizes that this is a dude that this dude here is up front. These items here are kind of in the front, and everything else is pretty much in the back. So it, if uh, if we gave it a different background prompt, you'll see how it's uh, done a pretty decent job of giving uh, armor to our, our warrior there. But if we give it a background prompt, we'll say, you see how we've got like trees and the like. we see a mountain background for the prompt and run it again. Uh, it will, it notices this, it knows this area back here is the background. You can see it's, it's definitely popped in mountains and the like in the back back there. So that is just the quick and dirty for how to use uh, depth masking uh, in uh, stable diffusion using automatic uh, 1111's uh, web UI.